All right, the legendary ARS HP Dash VS8 Z pruners. I've been hearing a lot about the v, the ARS pruners. Decided to get me some instead of the Felcos. Reason why I chose these, I think Felcos are Swiss made. I bought a blade, a sushi knife for a friend. And based on popular and durable and most reputable blade makers, the best blades come out of Germany and Japan. I haven't really researched any German pruners, but there are a, there are a lot of Japanese pruners. There are the Milwaukee's and the ARS as far as I'm concerned. I decided to go with the ARS. Here they are. They feel nice, they cut nice. They're lightweight, they feel good in my hands. I've only had them a few days. I don't really have the largest hands, so they feel nice. This is the eight inch, I guess, since it is the VS8. I was looking into getting, I guess there's a VSX series. Not sure what's the difference. I decided to get these. They had five stars on Amazon. I looked in these, these seem to be what everybody's getting as far as there's no problems, the most ones that sell they feel good i gave them a couple cuts and they glide between my coronas and my drams these definitely cut the smoothest and the best i had a couple co-workers and friends that love felcos i feel like felcos are heavy i feel like i'd rather have these the felcos just i don't know you know everybody's doing felco I decided to go with these. Definitely haven't given these the two-year test run yet, but my Coronas are two-year battle tested. The same year I bought my Coronas, I know somebody bought the Falcos. Falcos are definitely good. Just to me, um, I'm not really a Falco fan, but let's go ahead and get some uh, demonstration of some cuts going with these guys, you know what I mean? Just so I can show you. First demonstration, roses. Medium, uh, Sharpie marker thick uh, Since everything's written in Japanese and I haven't really did that much research on them I don't know what these are built or how big they are to cut I'm gonna need them for fruit trees and a, a lot of fruit trees and a lot of roses because I have a lot of jobs But here we go Nice Let's uh, see if we can zoom in on the results Say it's not the sword but the sword master but I'd say these give a clean cut now dead wood I already tried earlier with the bigger branch didn't go through don't want to try again but here's smaller branch butter Smaller cuts like rosemary. Don't have to fiddle around. Sometimes when something's too big, it's harder to cut small things. Not with the ARS. I love them. Oh, I missed. Oh, missed again. Third time's a charm. Well, you guys decide. I like them. I love them. I'll give you guys a three-month update. But these are five days in. All right. Citrus test. Small branch. Like butter. Don't really want to do it, but... uh. In the name of science, larger branch, butter. Desert Rose Adenium. In the name of science, butter. Monsteras. In the name of science, butter. 
Of course, a Monstera and other stuff is gonna be easy, but I like the noticeability of such a clean cut. Uh, obviously, in three months, I'll give you an update to see if that cut stays clean. What caught my attention, which I did not like, was it could get tiring locking your device because right at so I'm gonna close it up right here is when I gotta give it an extra squeeze for motivation to close that could after a few hundred roses and you want to take a couple breaks or whatnot could get tiring after a while unless you're the type that just leave your uh, pruners open which sometimes I do sometimes I don't but kind of you know your hands could get tired trying to squeeze that because obviously if you're closing them you're as at the end of the day and you're tired so you might not want to give that extra squeeze to close it but as I was complaining to myself what I did notice was this is new to me was the no finger release which is this a simple squeeze and you got a release so that's new to me not sure if Felco's offer that but that is pretty cool you just you know you whip them out and got your holster for your pruners and you just kind of give it a squeeze and you start hacking away and you know I was thinking about putting some kind of maybe oil just so it kind of slides in there better just because I like I said after a few hundred it does get tiring but other than that I really like how these cut I like the functions I don't even know why I did that actually let's do this Aha. And you put it back. So I guess maybe I needed to break it in because it is sliding in there pretty quick now. These are literally a few days old. Alright, guard. Alright, guard folk. This is the back of the package. I can't really read Japanese. So can't really get the full breakdown of it. I'm gonna maybe look it up and see. But there you go on the different, the VS7Z, the VS8Z, VS9Z. This is the one that's kind of, I think, on sale on Amazon. This one's not really, it's like $20 more. So I went with this one just to give my first go ahead. That's the front. That's the back. 15 millimeters, I guess is what it's saying. It might cut medium hands. I'd say I have small hands. You know, I like to tell people they're not small, but yeah. All right, guys, I love them. All right, garden folk, over and out.